All right, so it's already starting to heat up out here in Southern California, so I had the idea to head over to an abandoned neighborhood that I've had on my list for a while now. This neighborhood is actually a row of houses part of a development project that fell through due to permits. And because of this, some of the houses are more finished than others, and some have never actually had any official homeowners. And while some of them actually did have homeowners, of the people who moved into the houses, they found that sewage lines and other problems haunted their everyday lives until they all eventually abandoned their homes. And in the years since its abandonment, it's become a popular squatting spot, party spot, and recently an area where police do training exercises. But regardless, my girlfriend and I drove out to check it out in the 95 degree heat while it's still around, and it did not disappoint. All right guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. This time I'm at an abandoned house, but not just one abandoned house. I'm at like six or seven or 10 abandoned houses. We're gonna try to check out as many of these as we can. I'm also with my girlfriend. She's over there walking inside <laughs> away from the camera. But you know, that just means she's ready to explore. From what I know about these places is they actually were never finished being built. They had like a whole development plan and they're gonna build a whole neighborhood of these, like hundreds of these houses here. And they only ended up building the first 12 or so. Are you touching exposed wire over there? <laughs> but so they only built like the first like 10 or 12 of these. They actually did more than I thought. I was expecting there to be none of this in here, no flooring or anything like that, so. It's kind of nice. It is also like 95 degrees outside. So it feels pretty nice in here. It's smelly though. I wonder if it's gonna get smellier or less smelly up here since the windows aren't boarded up. <laughs> but also could be more bird poop up here. So that would be the front door. They like boarded all these places up, but not very well, because you can just walk in around the back or the garage and get in. I'll see, but there's no floor down up here. So they didn't get that far. But you can see it's like right next to all these like warehouses and stuff. Oh, what's that? Hi, birdie, what you want? I wonder if this bird has a nest right here. Hi birdie, what you want? Oh my god, no wonder that mama bird wants to come in here so bad. There's literally newborn babies. I'm gonna get out of this room. Sorry mama. Your babies are all safe. <coughs> it smells like shit in this room. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, mama! That's so cute though, the baby birds. I have never seen anything like this at a bando. Like that spider just made a web all over the wall in the weirdest pattern and like it started doing one right here too it looks like, or it's an older one. That's fucking wild though. I wonder if we can get in through the front door on this one, or if this is like boarded shut. Yeah. Alright, we might have to go through the back. Well, I guess I could go through the window, but the garage seems like a way better bet. Hey, and we made it. We got in. We did it. Like, I want to see what the difference is between like that one at the corner there and this one. Because this one, right off the bat, I could tell. <clears throat> they didn't do the floor. There's no tile or anything like that here, like the other one did, like the other one had. Different layout, too, right off the bat. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. And, like, 
<laughs> Why is there the FaZe clan logo right here? But as you can see, they did not do a very good job boarding this place up. Maybe they did, but they have not come back to do it since. Why is this door closed? Should I knock first? <laughs> I think the wind just closes it on its own. I think we're safe. I don't think anybody was hiding <laughs> from us. It's kind of cool and creepy at the same time. Like if you were living here, you'd just be able to like look right into your neighbor's <laughs> window, right into their bedroom. That scared the fuck out of me. Me too. <laughs> I don't even know if I was filming yet. But that door just slammed itself shut. This would have been a nice bathroom. Kind of reminds me of the bathroom in the master bedroom at my house a little bit. Spooky. <laughs> Onward. So yeah, there's not much to these houses really. I'll probably check out one of the backyards, but it looks like all the backyards are just full of dirt and that's about it. They got no development. It smells like poop out here though. Oh, this one looks kind of clean. It looks like someone was partying in this one recently. Some cans, some doorknob on the floor. Lots of cans. Oh shit. This one's the party house. There's so many boxes of alcohol. Yeah, like Amazon fresh bag. Is there anything in it? <laughs> Look at all that. And there's like Christmas lights. What else is around right here? Glow sticks, yeah. Christmas lights, Swisher sweets. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> so this is kind of what the backyards look like. So I'm not really going to go out into them. This is actually the most stuff that I've seen in any of these houses. It looks like this one, people actually do use to kind of party in and stuff like that. And it's actually... From what it seems like so far, the nicest one here. Like it has the least amount of dust. I wonder if people have swept it. Here's another ankle of that burned one. So yeah, this literally is like unexplorable. Just a pile of rubble at this point. Something different about this one is it still has the garage door and it still has the front door, which are gonna be locked, it seems like. That's the pattern here. It's too hot, so she's gonna go wait in the car and cool it down while I explore this one. But I think I saw an entrance around the side here. So I'll try checking this one out. This one looks crazy. But yeah, as you can see, this door is completely boarded shut, so that's why I wouldn't be able to come in through here. They boarded up all these windows. Surprisingly, not that door though, but this house is a slightly different layout than the other ones that we've seen, but also no floors done in this one. And it looks like this one had a bottom floor, like bedroom bathroom mix right here, which we weren't seeing in the other ones. The other ones were like all dining room and stuff like that down below. Here's a little bit of a better view of what it looks like. I went in this house before coming here. It's like one of the only ones that's one story and it's honestly like really destroyed. Someone tried burning it. So I'm not gonna go in there. We haven't seen this one yet, but we've gone inside of that one, that one, that one, and that one now. And then um, I still wanna try to go check out those, but we're gonna do that in a couple minutes. It's pretty hot. So I'm just gonna take a chill pill for a minute here. 
Okay, this is actually kind of interesting. So we drove down the road a bit. You can kind of see the old ones in the distance, but there's these three bigger ones right here. And so I want to check these out. It's kind of windy too. My hair is super long compared to the last time you guys saw me. But it looks like these ones are fucking destroyed. Here, oh, here let me turn the camera around. But look at this. Like what even is going on right here? Like maybe they left a whole pile of tiles here that they never used for the roof. Or they slid off the roof. Like I really don't know what's going on right here. But... Watching my step because I don't want to step on any snakes or spiders or nails. But I might try to find a different way in. This looks pretty fucked right here. All this insulation, like I don't even want to breathe that in. Let's check out this one. This one looks way nicer. Okay, we'll just go in through this one and see if they connect at all. Because I can't tell if these are a duplex where it's like two houses connected, which is what my childhood home was like, where we had two garages next to each other and two houses next to each other, right next to each other, like townhomes. It looks like people partied in this one. Look at all this stuff right here. Yeah, so these are time, these are actually townhomes right now. Um, so we've gone into like a different type of house. This actually reminds me a lot of my childhood home. Not really, not, not really. But the tiles are the same right there on the counter. That's funny, literally exactly the same. We didn't have an island or anything like this though. Oh my God, look at this. Unopened Trulies. <laughs> I wonder what else is in here. Glow stick set, that's funny, unopened Trulies. I'm gonna take one out and mess with Emily. For the record, I am not drinking the Bando Trulies. She's looking at me like, what is he fucking holding? Oh shit. <laughs> Can you film me while I drink the Bando Truly? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> this one's interesting, you walk right in, got like a weird door handle too and someone might be squatting here if there's someone here I'm sorry you got a beverage jar this also could just all be party stuff like look at this they got all their party shit set up if I was stuck out here and I didn't really have a proper place to stay like this place or these houses especially before getting this destroyed would have been a good spot like honestly like it, it keeps away from the heat this is the desert so it gets like 95 110 degrees out here in the summer maybe even hotter and being inside with the insulation and all that like i could even feel it from this way nicer but that's pretty much all there is to see for these places i'll check out the last two houses and i'll meet you over there I've been kind of driving around between the houses, so that's the last one I have to see. But when we were driving up to here, I was actually wondering if this was the old sales office because it has like these weird pathways leading up to it and like it looked like there might have been some other stuff here. Not too sure, but this also didn't really look like a house very much when I first when I first pulled up. And in a weird twist of coincidence, my homie hit me up on my Snapchat story and said that. Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me. That just started like moving on its own. But he messaged me and he's like, yeah, there's an old sales office, there's some houses, some duplexes, so... I guess this actually was a sales office. Dude, Jesus Christ, there's so many weird things happening here. I don't really like this room. I didn't bring a light because I assumed it would be all bright in here. And apparently, apparently the police use this place as a training ground now. So that might be why some of these buildings have actually been cleaned out is because they've been training inside of here. This is pretty cool. I wonder if the sales guy lived here or that was just like his bathroom or something. But this sales building is pretty small. I just kind of wanted to show this off to you guys and see if there's anything cool in here. This must have just been like the tables people lease on or whatever. Maybe even it was like 
a big desk here blocking people from coming in all the way or what i don't know but the last place we have to check out and i think it's the biggest place here is the house across the street so i'll meet you guys over there all right i think this is the biggest house here it looks huge compared to the other ones there's only one garage so i don't think it's a duplex it's on a different street from the duplexes and a different street from the main line of houses that we were first at over there and that's the sales office right there next to where i'm parked so let's just check this out there's been a lot of wildlife here and a lot of shit in these buildings so i'm not really trying to spend too much time inside of each building um speaking of there's stuff running in front of me in these bushes right now Ooh. Hello? If there's anybody in here, I'm just here to explore. I'm not doing anything. And if you don't want me in here, let me know and I'll leave right away. But I'm kind of sketched right now because there's a bed with a second bed here. And this house kind of looks like it has a lot of like twists and turns in it. But it also looks like it got the most done compared to the other things here. Actually, now that I think about it, this is the same layout as the other house that we were in with the duplex that I thought was a duplex. But yeah, like we've seen this exact kitchen layout before. Someone burned the fuck out of this ceiling. It's kind of scary. So I don't know if I'm going to go to the second level. But we'll just pop our heads up these stairs real quick and scope it out. But I think, yeah, I think this is the same exact layout for the most part, except slightly more done than that first house. I don't really want to walk around up here because the ceiling looks kind of broken. But look, they had wallpaper in this house. That's pretty cool. And they had tiling that got put in and some more wallpaper that got put in here. I could see why someone might have been trying to squat in here, though. I'm not going to go on that side of the house. That's where I saw a lot of the burned ceiling down there. So I am good on that. But yeah, sorry, I thought this house would actually be bigger slash different than the other one that we were in just a couple seconds ago or a minute ago or two in the video. But the backyard, this might be the most worth it backyard here. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what happened how this all happened. <laughs> but let's check out this backyard. So there's actually some plants here. Oh, here's the other half of the house that I somehow could not find access to. But yeah, I was like, why did it look so big? All right, I'm not really too sure what happened, but I'm editing the footage right now and I went to go look at the, the last clip. You can see all the footage right here. Um, but this is supposed to be like another four minute clip that had the outro and a bunch of other stuff shown, but it's corrupted somehow. And I noticed my camera was doing this and I tried to film like three times and then it said it was filming. So I thought it was working, but I don't know what happened because I didn't run out of storage or anything. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell, go check out any videos I might have in the description. Drop my camera for a second right there. But anyways, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one.